What you guys got another video here for you on cannot create a new simple volume from the unallocated space on your drive. So whether you've got an SSD or hard drive, you may see something looking like this where we have some space here and we want to create a new simple volume, but it's simply grayed out. And I'm going to show you how we can resolve this issue and how we can fix it. Now, you may find it strange that one of the partitions is actually green and allowing us to create a new simple volume where one of them is not letting us create a simple volume. So how can this happen and how can we resolve it? I'll show you how to do it in this video step by step. Very simple and easy to do and fix. So let's go ahead. You can see here, I'm just going to quickly create a simple volume on the side that I can create a simple volume. This is a four terabyte NVMe drive and I want to be able to use the whole of that drive, and unfortunately, I can't. So even when I create a new simple volume, it won't allow me to extend or do anything like that with this other particular partition that I have here. And funny enough, there was never a partition on here, so I don't know what's happened. But what we're going to do here is delete this uh, volume here, and what we'll do is we'll try to fix this, and I'll show you what I think has happened. I don't know exactly what happened here because this was never partitioned in the first place but if we go to disk zero here we can see we've got convert to dynamic disk and there's properties here let's go to properties of this and go to the volumes of this particular drive and you can see this one is set to partition table gpt and that's exactly what it should be on this windows 11 system if we go to disk zero here we do have convert to GPT. If we go properties and then go to volumes, you'll notice that this says master boot record for some strange reason. Not sure why, because this drive was on my Windows 11 system and it's now partitioned and it's now set to MBR. Now we can convert to GPT uh, disk right here, but I'll show you a better way to fix this after today's video sponsor message cd key sales if you're looking for cheap windows 10 pro and cheap windows 11 pro oem keys then check out the links in the video description use my promotion code capital b capital r 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30 percent discount on all of your purchases on cd key sales once you submit your order they'll send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of windows just like you see okay so let's go ahead and fix the issue at hand here. So what I'm gonna do is right click on the start button and open up a terminal with admin. Now, before you continue with this process, make sure you pause the screen and read that message at the bottom right there, because I'm not gonna be responsible for any data loss when you do these commands, because the clean command uh, is using a utility which will erase all of the data on the drive. So first off, we're gonna type disk part to open up disk part utility now we're going to do list space disk and this will list all of the disks on this particular machine you can see there's two drives on here the one we're interested in is disk one and this is the one that we're going to be working with it's important that you select the correct disk and understand what disks are in your computer because if you have a load of disks on here and select the wrong one all of the data will be erased on that system so be certain that you are erasing the correct disk when you select it, okay? So what we're going to do is select disk 1 here. So type select space disk and then 1. In my case, it's 1. Yours might be a different uh, drive letter, so make sure you select the right one. Once we've done this, the next step is where we're going to be cleaning that drive, and the cleaning of that drive is going to erase all of the data beyond recovery so if you've selected the wrong disk it's going to erase and clean permanently and destroy all the data on that disk so make sure you select the correct disk you'll see it succeeded in cleaning the disk it's very quick and very easy and it's basically just erased all the data on that drive so now we've got a nice clean drive and everything's been erased what we're going to do here next is convert this drive to gpt inside the command prompt now there's quite a few ways of going about doing this but again this can erase data as well if you don't do it correctly but what we're going to do here is convert 
space GPT, and it says successfully converted the selected disk to GPT format. And now we can exit out of this command prompt and exit out of this disk part utility because we are finished with this. And basically what we can do now is go back to our disk management and have a look. So let's go ahead and type exit and we can exit out of the command prompt as well. Okay, let's head back to our disk management here. And what we need to do here is quickly refresh here because obviously things have changed. So we can go up to the top menu here and refresh uh, this window. So let's go ahead and go actions, refresh. And now what we should be able to do is see the drive is all one size. What we can do here now is go here and you'll see convert to MBR disk is now here, not GPT because we've converted it. If we open up this inside properties, you'll see there is a name on the drive and we can go volumes here and you can now see that we are running a GPT drive. And this is important when you're running Windows 11. You need to make sure also all of those settings are enabled in the BIOS if you're running Windows 11 with supported hardware. So let's create a new simple volume by right clicking and you can now see that it's allowing us to create a simple volume on the whole drive. You can partition this out if you want to. I'm just going to leave this as a complete whole drive and we need to designate it a letter. So I'm just going to give it the drive D. Click next. You can give it a name here if you want for the volume label. I'm just going to call this say storage. You can call it whatever you like for yours on your system. Click next. It's going to perform a quick format. Click finish and it should now populate that drive and we should be able to see it turn up here there we go so first off what i'm going to do now is i need to make sure the drive is functioning properly because i don't know what happened with that drive and why it suddenly did this so what i'm going to do here is quickly check the drive here you can see the drive is now functional and i can now click on it and i can now access the drive but i still need to know whether the drive is working correctly and i can quickly check this by using the utility of this drive. This one is a Crucial P3 Plus drive. I can head over to Crucial's website and I can download the firmware for this particular drive and download also the uh, NVMe SSD driver for this drive. So we can even sanitize the drive if I wanted to and use other features of the software that Crucial offer. So you can download this right here and yours might be different. So make sure you check the manufacturer website of your drive to download the software that comes with that drive. Next, I'm going to download the Crucial Storage Executive. This is the software that Crucial use for you to manage your drive. So I'm going to go ahead and download this right here. And once we got this downloaded, we can install it on the system. And I'll quickly do that and show you how this works. So here we have the actual uh, software right here. I'm going to extract the storage executive here for Windows 64-bit systems. Now we can click on the executable file here to install the software. And a lot of people don't use the software that comes with their actual SSD. And it's important because there's a lot of useful stuff on here, which is going to allow you to manage your drive properly. So we're going to quickly accept their terms conditions, click next, and we're going to click a destination to install it. If you want to put a shortcut on the desktop, you can do, I will do, and I can click next and now next again and let it install. It's going to unpack the program and install it on the system. We can now launch the program and this will launch Crucial Storage Executive on our system. And once this is open, it's going to give us access to a lot of useful tools here. We can check the smart here of our driver and I can already see the drive is functioning perfectly fine and there is no errors on here and the smart readout says the drive is in good health and I've got plenty of life left on these drives so I do know the drive is working correctly now again there's some other tools here I'm not going to go too deep into this because that is basically the problem solved on this video anyway my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Quick shout out to my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.